Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be providing a long-term analysis update for LooksRare. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some very key levels of support and resistance. I'll also look at the 100-day simple moving average and discuss my general takeaways for LooksRare. So if you guys enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, by the way, feel free to check out our sponsors in the link in the description below. This channel is partnered with FTX.us. All right, so on my chart, I have a few things drawn here. First, I wanna talk about this red rectangle. This is going to be the resistance, the downward sloping point of resistance where looks rare has basically been rejecting off of ever since its initial launch back in January. So all of the lower highs have been forming right along this region. And you can see that structure has been very consistent over the last several months. And we have been rejecting off this area as of recently. You can see we're right up into that zone once again, currently at around 21 cents. And what I really wanna see for looks rare is generally starting to break this structure. So instead of forming another lower high off this zone and then rejecting, what I wanna see is looks rare start to come back above this level. And then ideally, I wanna see us make a higher high, which would be taking out that high back in September at around 31 cents. And something like this would be a positive sign because it would start to break this longer term downtrend structure and we would start to have a little bit more positive look that maybe we're just starting to go sideways instead of continuing this major downtrend. So another thing I wanna talk about here is this range we've been in ever since we entered back in June. So this range is from the support around 15.7 cents to the resistance around 45.3 cents. And you can see looks rare has basically flipped this zone of 45.7 cents from support back in May into resistance on these rejections where we do come up to the range highs and then we continue to reject off and then come back down to some of these lower valuations with the support being around that 15.7 cent area low. That was the low we formed on this massive capitulation back in June. And as of this moment, we have not had a retest of those range lows. So if we do continue to reject off of this zone of resistance in red, and we have a rejection similar to that of September or even August, then look out to see if this is a region where looks rare can find support and start to bounce off of. Now, in terms of resistance beyond this downward sloping red zone, we also have resistance along the mid range as well as the range high. So the mid range, if I just take this measured move right here, is gonna be right around this zone at around 27 cents. So notice how that was the area of support held back in June as well as July. This is the zone that we held. We started to bounce off back to the range highs and that was a resistance point right here in September. So if we do start to break this zone in red and start to come back up, look to that area around 27 cents as our resistance for the mid range and then beyond that resistance further at the high of the range, which is gonna be again around 45 cents. So now I wanna talk about the 100 day simple moving average. So I'm gonna pull that up on the chart and that is going to be this blue line. Basically, it takes the average closing price of the last 100 days and then plots it here. So you can see in LooksRare's entire history, it has not been above the 100-day simple moving average. In fact, we've actually had a few rejections. You can see back here in May, we came pretty close to this level, but ultimately we fell short and then we continued lower. We had a rejection right here in August. And this test of the 100-day average was followed with a rejection where we continued lower and we had a move almost getting back up to this level in September. So this is a longer term zone that I do wanna see looks rare start to reclaim. This is gonna be another point of resistance. And if we can start to actually break above this, consider that would be the first time looks rare has ever been above the 100 day average. So that would be very significant. That's something I'm watching out to play over into the next few weeks and as well as the next few months. Today, the 100 day moving average is around 30 cents, but do consider the fact that this moving average is going to be averaging down and is going to be downward sloping. So we could retest it in a few weeks at a lower valuation. So it will depend on when we do get that move. And if we can start to break above this instead of holding resistance off of it, that would be another sign that looks rare might be starting to reverse this longer term downtrend. So I hope you guys did enjoy the content and the analysis. Once again, check out our sponsors in the link in the description below. You can sign up through there or with my referral code Snowy Crypto over at FTX.us and get a 5% discount on exchange fees. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.